I think one of them actually might be here. Let me see. Because I wanted to watch uh, Silent Weight Gain 2. Here's one of them. So this is from Iron. And we will watch this one together. I will pause this. Concord's 20K dislikes Sony's state of flop rejection. Concord look worse than deadlock and alpha face full of soot firewalk alfalfa ratio negative gaming's healing GDC developers reeling sale generic dude what the hell is this intro we're with big chins doubly corporate soulless reddit cringe blokes who wish they had a minge guardians damn wait hold up oh my gosh this dude throwing the shade how to keep your naughty xbox captures private what they had a minge guardians of esg pronoun hero pvp silent hill and dei oh Hit no detection. you know why two number nines on the number <laughs> nine large number six with extra dip manly woman more inclusive shit grease on game journal lips nick calandra second wind silent sing opposition mass reporting smash jt sides back up apparently that just happened check please you damn right. this I dude's spitting it swifty go for the high school PlayStation took a shit on the floor. Woke slop. Oh, uh, dude, I see what he did there. Your hermit gay. Cope and seed. We will not buy. Cry. Aren't you the guy who? I'm like, get the fuck away from me. Change our words. Define. Yes, it's not just <laughs> the DI Dredge team forcing diversity exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Look at that group. Look at how diverse that group is, boys. Lazy. But they want to lecture you. Crazy. I hope investors take Oh, hey, oh, oh. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Chat, this is family friendly. Oh, I, I thought I was seeing something else down here. Okay, whoa. Behind. I thought we were getting bleed through. I was like, whoa. whoa. Neurons activated. Hello, beta testers. Please, hello. like and subscribe. Comment or correct me below. Within the moments after Weathering Waves went online, 40 million in revenue was generated. You love That's that VR anime lolly gamzo? Competition. Yeah. T-Moo's Overwatch Two bucks, thank you, my Guardians of the ESG is the arena shooter from Wish, just in time for I should never have showed 19. This. 12 minutes <laughs> out of your 30-minute showcase. Yeah, that's what this mostly cinematic presentation will take. Why? Well, it's because of what I've been saying for years now. Sony doesn't want to make games. They want to make movies, TV shows, mostly experiences where it'll keep pausing and then you have this controller that doesn't look like a normal. Dude, no wonder why people are playing Stellar's Blade. What the hell is like, it's ridiculous. Or more remote, but it serves the same function. All those buttons are just to unpause. The cinematic that keeps playing, the cutscenes that they're pitching to you like it's a huge login incentive. Every week when you log into Concord, you will be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. Wow, the pronoun-centric hero shooter is really interested in <laughs> selling you on its knockoff guardians with quippy Reddit humor, and the DEI sensitivity police associated with these guys will be deciding against pretty women. And I gotta say, hey, that's a good pause. I've got to say, when it comes to, like, the lefties, they have some of the absolute worst dog shit writing slash humor. Their humor is so bad when it, when I, it feels so soulless and empty whenever they try to make you laugh. I'm just sitting here going, like, what are you doing? Talk about socially inept. And breasts, because that's against ethics or unfair to some people, you know, who are, have recently decided that I'm the other one now. The dated, uninteresting, and bizarrely unfinished looking project that likely had way more funding than Helldivers game is, is hilariously not free to play and it's like Sephiroth is dead 2. on arrival 0. if I do say so myself. But <laughs> if you subscribe, I'll be glad to eat my words if I fall into the parallel universe where I can be wrong about this. Fireworks Studios, damn. Sorry. It's hard not to look Fire like walk. Don't you say they're going to be taking a walk? Is that where you're going to be? You know, I, you know what's funny about this? It reminds me of the original Overwatch. When I used to play, when someone would play like Widowmaker, and then you would always see somebody like staring at her booty. Like you could just see like them aiming their gun, or you could see them crouching down, like looking at the booty. Be saying Firewalk Studios Concord is only part of the laugh that gaming needed right now. 
I saw someone asking the question, is it funnier to take five years to make a hero shooter or five years to make a remaster of a PS4 game? Decide in the comment section below. You know, they canceled that Last of Us multiplayer factions crap, but they kept Concord. I don't care about either of them. I just thought it's some information that you might like to remember. I was genuinely Soylent excited Hill. about Crazy Taxi and Jet Set Radio remakes, thinking they can't screw that Uglifier. up. Uglifier. Hit Detection has Sega Partner 2. And if you remember a game that Bros was canceled only Hill. before it came out called Hyenas. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I want to see those faces. Did I miss it? Remember a game that was canceled before it came out. Damn, it's like they flashed this too quickly. Oh my g Wait, what happened here? They do this shit, man. Every time, like, you just, wham like, real wham and not allowed. They just, they never have a problem with Thor being buff or Batman being buff or anybody. Like, the, the men better be sexy and buff, but God forbid women are in shape. called Hyenas. Soylent Downhill, exactly. Featuring a play What's up, JC? Queen that was explosively noteworthy to me because of how much more they were allowed to present feminine as a man in drag than normal digital women are allowed yeah, to. Yeah, I wish I could and dislike that right now. following Stellar Blade's release, you see just how hard they seethe at the very idea of a digital woman being attractive, let alone scantily clad. Stellar Blade top sales for <laughs> April and was an exercise. Oh yeah, that that's, this is the new like trans Mr. Freeze. Can anybody truly guess why Western games and media in general are just dropping and you've got Korea, like it's mainly the Asian media is doing so much better. We, whether you got Korean releases, like the Korean games and stuff, they're just doing so much better with the character designs, the Japanese designs, all of it. Because they actually like, they actually like hot women. Western women hate other women. And so this is how they try to portray them. This is their idea, like Mr. Freeze just, I guess, I guess he just said, you know what? It's time to re-sculpt myself. Guys and pulling teeth specifically no for the losing. identity politics obsessed games journalists who Ugh. demonstrate their hypocrisy and bias ah. habitually. The people in gaming silent about Second Wind and Kotaku's behavior impress me because cry bullies that believe that attacking people's funding in their deplatform and cancellation attempts will result in silencing people simply highlighting what they have publicly and oh my god oh this is wait hold okay it's pretty wild that in 2021 a new game studio still looks like this oh why because it's a bunch of dudes yeah stick a couple of uh, white women in there and that just makes it more diverse right factually said nigga this and you know and that that's actually funny because the irony behind that that when they show a lot of these these uh studios where it's just primarily like an army of women it's almost like 99 percent white women and they also they all want to lecture you on about being inclusive worming and reacting only provokes the Streisand and online I've described it as gaming's biggest and easiest rake to avoid stepping on what so the hell soon is this after shit? this dimwit sucre baby kindred loser was so attention starved and emotionally what? just devastated that they oh. needed to talk shit on Akira Toriyama fresh off his see that booty, knowing that they'll never create anything that impacts people as profoundly as his works did, highlighting not only Kindred's ignorance considering the Indian inspiration for Popo, but the paradox <laughs> of the sensitivity brainwashing cult that was Sweet Baby Ink's existence when black and Hispanic people never needed Saiyans to match our skin color to love or appreciate Dragon Ball Z. Everyone that disagrees with these people is transphobic or racist or whatever fucking word they're- Oh yeah, that's all it is. A anybody that I don't like gets a label. I, I truly, I, in my mind, I envision these people having like a, a, a piece of paper. It's like a, a sticker sheet. And it's like, oh, you disagree with me? Okay, you, oh, let's see what sticker that you get. They peel off the sticker. Okay, you're, you're a phobe. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. You said this about women. Okay, you're a, a, a sexist. Uh, that's all they do. They just walk around with sticker sheets just giving them to anybody that they don't like. It's the stupidest shit ever. Jack Dawes says, uh, Gamza, how do they keep getting funding? Um, I remember that woman from Sweet Baby Inc. was, she had a speech where she was saying they deliberately lie to these companies because the most important thing that they can do is get the message across. So they will lie, cheat, and steal. That's just my assumption. In order to get that message across because the propaganda far outweighs just the monetary gain, but they want that monetary gain at the same time.
They're going to game you both ways. It's no, it's no different than some uh, door-to-door salesman that's just gonna, he's there to rip you off. And he'll say anything he can to get you to buy that product. And once you get the product, see you later. It's off to the next product. And remember, a lot of these companies, because they are social by nature, they care about the stickers that are applied to them. And so they start telling, they, they probably will falsify numbers. I wouldn't be surprised if they do all kinds of bullshit to, in order to, to sell that message across. You got to be diverse. You have to be more uh, diversified. You know, the new crowd that's coming up, they, we all know that the, these are what the kids are into. This is what they enjoy. And it's like, no, 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 no. This is what you enjoy. This is the shit that you like. So I think they really, they love crashing this shit. Plus, as I've said before, you cannot discount things like BlackRock. These big, huge companies that just, I mean, look, BlackRock's everywhere. They, they fund all kinds of different projects and shit. And they will, they will tell companies that you're not going to get anything unless you follow what we say. We're going to give you millions of dollars, but you better start forcing that DEI into everything. Otherwise, you're not going to get the money and people will bend the knee for it because it's, it's a, a short-term gain in order to ruin their product. It's sad. Golden Reaper for five bucks. Think of my good man. Japanese 2, Street Fighter. Recently, original characters are looking weird. And I hate how Final Fantasy 7 is going with the whole multiverse thing that they went with. Hmm. I have to look at that then. I haven't seen anything currently with the Street Fighter. What exactly are they doing? Are they slowly flattening them or something? Or covering them up? Final, Faz- Final Fantasy 7 was always shit. They have some message they want to pass. That's why I was... Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the sad thing too. It has... Nothing to do. It has, it, it has, wait, BlackRock gives loans, not gifts. Yeah, of course, but people will still do anything for that loan. You want to, you want to increase your reach. You want money. You, you got some projects in the, in the back that you want to get done. We'll fund them. But when you fund those projects, they're going to have what I want in there. It's no different than a sponsorship. If you think about it and these companies, they want to grow quickly. And sometimes when nobody else wants to give you that money, BlackRock has plenty to dump down the drain. I think it's social engineering. I really do. That's just what I would say. Hope and will just invalidate your credibility so everything that you Damn. say doesn't matter and also you're not a person so we can go after you, right? They are the ones dividing and their warped definitions miss. Yeah, this girl got like cyber heels on. Understandings and hurt feelings have them facing correction daily. Whether via community notes, comments on videos, or just people literally making content to laugh at the errors out of these emotional, rage-baiting narcissists who pretend that they're not only a victim, but they're relevant for anything other- No, I actually disagree. They are victims. They are victims. They're victims of their own stupidity, is really what it is. They, They wake up every morning asking themselves, what can I be outraged about today? Remember, when you, when you give yourself permission to be a victim, you give yourself permission to act accordingly. So if you feel like you've been wronged, then you feel that you are justified in reacting accordingly. This is why they're, they, they are so involved in cancel culture, because they feel like personally they've been attacked. And so they feel because they've done that, or that you have done that, personally attacked them, they feel now obligated or justified to get you canceled. What's up, Blaster? Good to see you here, my good man. Other than their less than professional failure to do any real fucking work in their capacity as a goddamn games journalist. But I digress. Half a decade ago, Kotaku was accusing Asian games of racial slurs. And when I looked up the Kotaku writer behind it, their name, Laura, an assumed name because they were a transgender person who lived a specific life and then decided to live this other way. You know, they couldn't be bothered to validate before accusing Nintendo, who would later go on. Dude, this stuff is getting so it's it's like on a ramp it's going straight up it's popping up everywhere now the blacklist kotaku it's crazy trying to tone it down here forgive me because what mattered to them was attention i'm seeing that same shit now out of second winds nick calandra so thirsty for grum's pussy that he's out here just believing anybody hurling something in the direction of Grums because, oh, he's targeting this guy that I don't like, so I don't even need to check it, don't need to validate it. So they're taking your ass for a ride. There goes your credibility. Watch it as it goes. I don't hate any of these people and obviously don't wish harm on any of them or to of deplatform or defund them as viciously sure. and fucking childishly as the emotional wet panty motherfuckers that these niggas are in their echo chambers, right, brother? Because you can't take anybody talking about you or even literally posting pictures, recording screenshots, nigga, of what you said. 
people are observing now how informing makes people enemies to entire factions because the business of some of these people, excuse me, is deception. I forgive you. In the gaming space. All I wanted was a decent game to play where the bitches weren't ugly. But I guess that's, that's a too lot much to ask, to ask for. for. Yeah, oh, that is. You know, you're asking for my money. You're demanding that I, uh, I don't know, accept your new normal for a modern audience. Something's got to give. No, but you see, they'll tell you exactly how they feel. It's the same mindset. Do you guys remember when, uh, I think it was Netflix, when they said that they were going to start showing ads and they were trying to justify it by essentially gaslighting you and lying? It, it gives you a peek into their mindset when they were saying that ads help our viewers and that we find that our viewers want ads. So it, remember, like, don't you guys have phones even from Blizzard? It's like this level of like lecturing and gaslighting you going, oh, no. Oh, no, they want ads. They, they actually like it. They, they love getting ads because it really helps them find great products. It's like it's all just lying and shit. It's the same mindset inside these games and everything else. It's that you don't know better. So I must show you better. You don't know what you're doing. You haven't a clue. So let me help you. Let me make the decision for you. They love that. I told you, dictators in training. If you gave these people power over a bunch of people, it'd be a dictator, dictatorship overnight. So we'll see you after the layoffs when I guess we can repeat our terms and see who is around and how they respond to that. Can't wait to play Path of Exile with you guys. You know, a terrible bed has Damn, been made in the in gaming space. And uh, we cannot be expected to pay to lie in it. Some of you may have uh, only been offended recently by how deliberately ugly or uninspired some of the efforts have been. Whatever the reason that's led you or us here, we're here now. And, oh, okay, let's just notice what we need to notice so that whatever needs to not get funded My cannot get Super funded. Saiyan. And that's it. We don't even need to talk about this anymore. You know what I mean? Just go, there it is. You know what I mean? And we're done. Patrons, beta testers, I love you. Subscribe. Leave. I think it's great to call this stuff out. It's great to call it out. This is why I do it. It's great to call it out because one, there, there is a level of go along to get along. And when everybody is too afraid to speak out or people are too afraid to call things out, it starts to become the norm. That's why when you look at certain gaming groups, think about like uh, certain discords or reddits or anything else like that. You speak out against anything, and these people will ban you immediately. People get surprised still, even on my uh, my Discord, that when they disagree with me, it's like they're fully expecting to get banned, and I think that's just silly. But that goes to show how it's like a, a, a level of fear that people have about speaking out. They don't want to get canceled. They don't want to go against the grain, so to speak. I don't mind it. I, I actually rather enjoy it because I'm sitting here going, sure. Give me, I, like I said before, it sounds funny. I feel like Brawly. The more people that start coming after me, I feel like I'm just powering up. And all it does is motivate me to make 10 times more content. I love it. I do it. To me, it's actually more exciting. If, if everybody's sitting around, like if I sat down with a bunch of people and they, they're like, let's talk about Warhammer 40K. I'm not joking. My eyes will gloss over if someone starts talking about like the foundation of a space marine and, you know, all the different upgrades that go inside of his body. Like I'm going to be sitting back in my chair. My eyes are going to be glazed over. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. You know that meme? After like the third, that's crazy. They just keep talking. That's how I'm going to feel. Oh, yeah. You know, then, then, then they got the Bacatechus and the toasters. And, uh, then, uh, you know, I watch this one video. It's like, oh, yeah, it's crazy. Huh? It's crazy. I, I would rather talk about something that means a little bit more. And if it's more controversial like this, to me, that's a lot more enjoyable. Call that shit out. Quit being such a little sissy on this stuff. Who wants to live in, in a damn echo chamber? I don't. I'm good on that one. Gamza doesn't want peace. He wants problems always. Got to monetize them. Uh, and, and I don't see them as problems. I, well, okay, I do see them as problems, but I see it as an opportunity to fix it. It's like if you're a mechanic, you don't only ever want to see pristine, perfect cars. You, you actually enjoy fixing these issues. You enjoy getting your hands dirty. That's the way that I see it. Wolfsbane, five bucks. Thank you, my good man. Look at that. Wolfsbane, alpha of the day. I got a funny video called Cake Fiction Figma, stop motion by Moonshine Animations. All right, I'll take a look at it. Thank you, my good man. I greatly appreciate it. But I think that's what it should be about. Call the stuff out. You enjoy talking about these things. 
It's enjoyable to discuss these things. It's enjoyable to have a, a, a debate. And if someone disagrees with me, it is not a big deal at all. It's not. It's just that in today's culture, it's like if you disagree with me, we're mortal enemies now. And I think that's just the stupidest thing ever.